Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at these BNX particulate masks. And these were provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to these in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So these masks are a duckbill style KN95 mask. And I want to say I'm not a mask expert. I'm not a medical expert. So if anything I say sounds fishy, you can definitely Google it and research it on your own. But from what I understand, a KN95 mask is similar to an N95 mask, but it doesn't go through the same process of certification. So there may be certain environments that require an N95 mask that a KN95 wouldn't work, but there are others where a KN95 could be substituted for an N95. Certainly if you're wearing these for your home, you don't have any certifications, and if you can't find N95 masks, then this could be a good alternative. So one thing that may be of interest to some people in the United States is that these are made in the USA, and these are made in Houston, Texas here, because a lot of these types of devices are imported and these are made locally, so that's cool. So it has user instructions here. I'll hold that up and if you want to read them, you can pause the screen. And then we have specifications. It says mask type is standard duckbill folding style with headband adjustment. Storage temperature is 26 to 104 degrees F, and the color is blue-white. And it has some limitations. It says do not use in areas that contain less than 19% oxygen. The area contains oil aerosols, the presence of gases or vapors, the contaminants in the area are known and can impact health or cause death. It says do not attempt to modify or use the mask in other ways than instructed. Do not use the mask with beards or facial hair as it may prevent a good facial seal. So I'm not giving advice on this, but from my experience, um, I've had a beard and I wear a mask and it's not ideal. I feel it's better than nothing to have a mask on. Now there are certain masks and such that you can use with a beard. I don't have any of those. Um, same thing with like area contains oil aerosols. If you're spray painting, you know, these aren't the ideal mask to wear spray painting, but if you have nothing else, you know, you could wear one of these, but I wouldn't substitute one. I would try and get to a ventilated area, but I would say this is better than nothing, but you have to take it into consideration your own health and what risks you're willing to take. And I like to just go to a well-ventilated area. So aside from diseases and such, a mask like this could be good for woodworking, Working in the yard in the fall when the leaves are really dry and I'm using my lawnmower to mow them up, it gets really dusty. I'll use a mask like this to keep from breathing in all that nasty dust. Or if you're cleaning, if you're dusting the house or something and you might have different spores and things around, this could be helpful. If you have certain medical conditions, you would want to talk to your doctor of this or what kind of device you might need to be safe doing that. So, so at the fitting instructions, it says unfold the mask and gently bend the nose piece to form a modest curve. Remove both headbands from the unfolded mask. Cup the mask under your chin with the nose piece facing forwards. Pull both headbands over your head and rest them on your neck under your ears. Pull the top headband over your ears and rest it on the crown of your head. Firmly press down on the nose piece to conform to the shape of your nose. Adjust and secure all edges and then perform a seal check. Performing a seal check, it says it is necessary to perform a seal check on the mask every time you wear it. Cup both hands around the mask and inhale and exhale forcefully several times. If you notice any air leakage, adjust the nose piece and headbands until the leakage is corrected. Pull the headbands back up or if necessary, shorten them by nodding. Once corrected, repeat the seal check again. And it says you should not wear it without a proper fit. So reading through the instructions over here, it says that you're supposed to dispose of them after one use. Like I say, use your own sense for this, but like typically I might use these to run to the store. I'll take a mask like this off. I'll leave it in my car and then I'll wear it later. But yeah, you're not gonna wanna wear this out if it gets physically dirty, but certainly if you're using this in a medical environment, you need to follow the regulations for where you work and probably dispose of it, I'm guessing. And like if you're using this in a woodworking shop to do some sanding, you put it on, sand for a little bit, set it down a week later, and come back, sand some more. If you're to do that, I would not store it out in the open where dust could get inside this. You'd probably want to put it in a cabinet or something upside down so it can stay clean. But again, you know, use your own common sense. You know, follow the regulations if you're using this for commercial use and such. So one thing I like about these is that they fold flat. So you could put this in a glove box of a car. Uh, if you wanted it to stay clean, you could put this in probably, I mean, the bag that came in, or you could get like a gallon size Ziploc bag, maybe even a grocery bag wrapped around it. You could put this in a folder. Like if you are a salesperson, you could set this in your sales folder. And then when you arrive to a site to talk to a client, you could pull this thing out and put it on easily. Although once you fold it, you're probably not going to want to fold it down again. That could, you know, break the bridge. It may not matter. I don't know. But I like the compact form of this. Like a traditional N95 mask can take up a ton of room. And these are much more compact. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll fit this on my head and we'll take a look at there. Okay, so I have a mask here and typically it's flat. But you want to curve the wire on it so your nose will fit right on the middle there. But you don't need to shape it towards your nose yet. Then you want to take the bottom and put that under your chin 
and then pull the straps over your head and put them under your ears. Then take one of the straps over your ears on top of your head like this. And then center it on your face and then take the wire bridge and press it down into your nose to try and seal it. Like so. So the shape of my nose, I do have trouble sealing this and any other masks actually against the top of my nose. So if I want to seal it off completely, I'll use some medical tape or something, or you can even use bandages to seal this area. I even have some with foam under the metal part and they don't seem to seal completely either. So like if I put my glasses on here, they might eventually fog up, we'll see. Yeah, they fogged up pretty quick. So to test this, you would want to kind of hold it up. With... Now if I press down here, see, I have a pretty good seal everywhere else. I'm not completely shaven. I'm as good as I've been lately. So now I can try to bend this in more to fit tighter, but I generally don't have too much luck with that. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if I can move it up. So I still have a little bit of air leaking right here. I can't seem to get that tight against there. So I, yeah, a little tape on there probably would go a long ways. But like I said, that's every mask I ever use. I have that same issue there. Otherwise it fits pretty good with the glasses. I know some will kind of like ride on the glasses and uh, you know, it fits pretty good with the glasses. And it's pretty comfortable otherwise. I have some other that have more of a rubber band type strap on them and they can kind of pull your hairs and stuff and they're not super comfortable, but these are kind of a soft elastic and they're pretty comfortable to wear. And it's pretty comfortable around here too. It fits pretty tight up against my face everywhere except right here. So I could get a nose job maybe, and I don't know, but I think taping that's gonna be the better option. So if you wear a mask and you always have trouble with this like I do, I don't think this is going to solve any problems. But if you wear other masks, like N95 type masks, and you can get a pretty good seal here, then it's probably gonna work well for you. Now, if you don't wear glasses, you don't have to worry about fogging up, but if you feel that air rushing out of there, that's potentially something in your mouth that is getting out into the open, like a virus or something. And when you're breathing in, it is sucking some air in there too, so you could be breathing dust in and viruses, you name it. So, you know, it is good to have a seal all the way around. If you have any air leaking out anywhere, that's a potential vector for things to get in and out. So let's switch back to the desk. So I like the manufacturing quality of this. I don't think it's going to come apart easily. It seems to be well designed and built. It's pretty comfortable to wear. Like I say, it doesn't seal around my nose, but everyone has a different shape of their nose, so you may have better luck with that. The metal on this is completely enclosed in this too, so it's not going to touch against your nose. The only thing that touches your body is this fabric type material. So, so that's the BNX KN95 mask. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.